Hello, my name is Mark Morissette, and we're uh, continuing our talk on RF fidelity. Last time we talked about error vector magnitude and its importance in assessing the quality of uh, digitally modulated carriers, such as OFDM that's used for LTE. Uh, but some, you know, we're going to talk a little bit more about how do you measure that. Um, EVM is measured uh, with a piece of equipment called a vector signal analyzer. And that vector signal analyzer basically is a is a is an you know is as close as possible to an ideal receiver that has the ability to properly decode the received digital carrier and compare it against an ideal digital carrier. And given that ability, it has the ability to directly measure EVM. But sometimes uh, you don't have a vector signal analyzer available to you. And as a result, you, you know, what are you going to do to assess you know, link quality? And there's another uh, metric that's used uh, in RF measurements called a carrier to noise ratio measurement. Much easier to do. Uh, the equipment uh, that's uh, used to do that measurement is readily available. It's basically a spectrum analyzer. And it's, uh, I'm sort of illustrating it here on the board. All you do to take a carrier to noise ratio measurement is um, you, you measure the power in the modulation bandwidth directly with the spectrum analyzer. And we'll call that carrier power, CP here. At that point, you either mute, you know, by some means, mute the, uh, mute the carrier or alternatively, you move over uh, maybe the second or third channel away, and you take a noise floor measurement, we'll call that N sub P, in the same bandwidth that you take, took your carrier power measurement. And what's nice about that measurement is uh, you can relate it back to EVM in that the following statement is true. If you're looking at EVM and dB, it will never be better than the ratio of the carrier power to the noise power. You know, they're, they're, in, in fact, it may be much less, but it'll never be better than the carrier power to the noise power. So as a result, you can do a, a, a very quick power measurement of the carrier, power measurement of the noise flow, and understand how your EVM is bounded, and, and understanding that your EVM when expressed in dB, will be no better than that carrier power to noise power ratio. Um, 